What's up guys? So I've been in Egypt for seven months now and if you are debating what kind of SIM card to get and what company to go through or how much it costs, this video is for you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a lot of informational videos about hostel reviews, walking tours, street food, um, desert tours, all sorts of stuff. So follow along for that. But let's get to it. So Egypt has three major carriers for cell phones. So if you're looking for a SIM card, you're probably gonna come up with Vodafone, Orange, and Etisalat. Those are your three major carriers for cell phones in Egypt. And I'm going to show you guys some of the packages that they offer with the prices so you have a better idea of what you might want when you walk into the store when you arrive here. So first one is Etisalat. And the other two are Vodafone and Orange, which many people debate on as being the best in Egypt. So you have Vodafone. And the last company that is very popular for cell phone carriers is Orange. So uh, let's go check it out. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to film in these stores because I think it's kind of awkward and they might not like it, but I will gather the information and then uh, give it to you now. So yalla, let's go. All right, guys. So I am back at my place. I have gathered the information for the package and the prices for each of these companies. Um, they definitely tried to sell me on the spot and so they offered me some special prices which I will mention in each of these sections. But first up we have Etisalat and all the prices that I'm going to be mentioning um, for these packages for each company is just data only. It's for 30 days and they include the price of the SIM card. So Etisalat, they have 10 gigabytes of data which is 280 Egyptian pounds. That was the first option. Second option is 30 gigabytes for 310 Egyptian pounds. And then they also offered 37 gigabytes for 395 Egyptian pounds. Uh, but the lady did offer me a uh, first sign up fee. I would get 55 gigabytes for this price. Um, because I was new to Eti Salat. So 37 gigabytes for 395, but first time sign up, 55 gigabytes for 395. Honestly, I think you can get a lot of different packages with every one of these companies um, if you ask them or, you know, make it seem like maybe you're gonna leave. Anyways, moving on to Orange. <laughs> so, Orange, 10 gigabytes is 395 Egyptian pounds but she did offer me 16 gigabytes for 395 as well as like a special. Um, the other option was 20 gigabytes, which was 695 Egyptian pounds. And also 36 gigabytes, which was 570 Egyptian pounds. And 90 gigabytes, who, who needs that, <laughs> for 1,130 Egyptian pounds. So, but then she also offered me, the lady at Orange, uh, specials which if I did it in that moment that day um, was 18 gigabytes for 150 Egyptian pounds with a hundred uh, or a thousand local minutes something like that um, or 20 gigabytes of data for 250 Egyptian pounds or 36 gigabytes for 285 Egyptian pounds. So as you can see, they're really trying to get you to buy on the spot. I already have my SIM card. I don't feel like changing my number, but I did go into each of these companies and tell them I had a friend visiting, and I was just inquiring about that, and they were still trying to push me to like change my SIM card. So <laughs> they really want me to buy. And lastly, we have Vodafone. So for Vodafone, as you can see, the prices are kind of going up and down ranging. But 10 gigabytes of data with Vodafone 
costed 355 Egyptian pounds. That included SIM card. Like I said, it's for 30 days. All of these are for 30 days. Include SIM card. 20 gigabytes costs 444 Egyptian pounds. 30 gigabytes, 505 Egyptian pounds. And 80 gigabytes, 780 Egyptian pounds. And then um, I was offered a special by Vodafone as well. 24 gigabytes for 355 Egyptian pounds. So that's kind of a good deal um, when comparing it with the non-special offers, which is 20 gigabytes for 444, or you get 24 gigabytes for 355. So that's the same price as the 10. One thing I should mention is that if you are planning and staying in Egypt longer than 30 days, you may need to renew your visa and show that to the people at the cell phone SIM card carriers, whether it's Vodafone, uh, Orange, Eti Salat, to continue your plan or recharge your, your prepaid plan. So if you are looking to renew your visa or stay in Egypt longer than 30 days, check out my other video which I explain uh, how to renew it in a quick and easy manner because that uh, immigration office can be kind of crazy. But yes, I think it depends on the, on the person assisting you in, the, in Vodafone or Orange or wherever you go, they might be able to renew it um, without seeing that visa stamp. It depends on the person. It's been a long time for me now and I can't remember exactly the process, but I do remember my uh, plan expiring and I had some issues and I ended up showing them the visa extension and then they were able to keep the same SIM card for me and continue the plan that I had. So just thought I would mention that very quickly. So which one do I recommend? I definitely don't recommend Eti Salat. I have to be upfront with you guys. I have only used Vodafone, but I know a lot of people that use Orange and have used Eti Salat or still use Eti Salat and they say it's garbage. It doesn't work in many different areas around the country. Even in Cairo, it has issues in certain areas. So I definitely wouldn't recommend them. Although they have the lowest prices, why are you paying for something if it's not working half the time? So then you have the other two, Orange and Vodafone, and they are in competition with each other. Um, I think this is gonna come down to personal preference. I have had Vodafone work in areas and my friend with Orange, it does not work, you know, with connection and internet. And then I've had a reverse situation where my Vodafone isn't working and their orange is connecting to a tower. So it really just depends on where you are, I think, and the day with connection, how it's <laughs> how well the internet is. So yeah, um, that's going to be up to you. I personally like Vodafone. Um, I know when I was having to do a test run for internet connection uh, to teach an English class that it did not work on Orange with their connection because my friend hotspotted me, but Vodafone did work. Um, so, because um, I was trying to do Wi-Fi earlier. Anyways, so yeah, this is going to be you know uh, up to you in the end whether you choose to go with Etisalat, Orange, or Vodafone. My recommendation is Vodafone, but I think Orange could come in a close second. So, so there you are. Those are your prices and um, what is available in store. I don't know if the airport, uh, Vodafone and Orange and Eti Salat store is very in price, but if they do, it's probably by a very small margin. So if you are just wanting to get your SIM card right when you land and you know be able to order an Uber and not get ripped off by those taxis, I would recommend doing that. I know I did. Not a huge price difference. And obviously, you know, paying for these SIM cards in country, as long as your phone is unlocked, is way cheaper than paying for some international plan with your company and doing all these roaming minutes and all that jazz so yeah well worth it I would definitely recommend getting a sim card if you're coming here to travel um, even for a few weeks because it's very convenient to be able to order Ubers motorbikes cars you know look up restaurants look, find where you are on Google Maps and mark locations that you want to get to so anyways all right well guys that's it for sim cards Watch out for my other videos. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of informational videos about, you know, the walking tours, raw footage of the streets, um, prices of street food, etc., etc. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.